The U.S. House investigation into the January 6th attack on Capitol Hill will be in the primetime spotlight tomorrow. Today, a bunch of groups concerned about elections here in Michigan are speaking out about why we should be paying attention. They say this investigation isn't just about what happened in the past, but also could affect Michigan's future. Paula Tutman working that story for us in downtown Detroit. Paula. Hi, Karen. Hi, everybody. Yeah, so you may remember that so-called Stop the Steal rally that happened here. This is now called Huntington Place. Everybody knows it as Kobo. It was TCF back then, had absolutely no basis. And indeed, Michigan plays really a, a, a pivotal part in those hearings that start tomorrow. It played out on live television for anyone who cared to look. The deadly January 6th storming of the Capitol in an effort to overturn the election of Joe Biden to keep Donald Trump in office by several thousand of his ardent supporters. Today, though proven time and time and time again in many of the highest courts in the land that the election was indeed free, fair and democratic, all has not been said or seen but will be available when the January 6th commission holds public primetime hearings to present its case to the American people, or at least those who care to see and listen. I'm glad to see they're finally happening because I think there's a lot of crimes that have occurred that need to be answered for. It's taken extremely too long. It should have happened within the first week. <laughs> like, exactly. It takes two years for y'all to come up with a, a, a decision and y'all still haven't reached a verdict. Or anything. Today, election experts and advocates under the umbrella of the brand Defend Democracy met to discuss why their data shows this nation is at a razor thin crossroads for the more than 200 year old experiment that is American democracy. Particularly here in Michigan, where vote counting was under attack at the TCF Center and Republican electors threatened to not certify Michigan's results. Trump campaign officials led by Rudy Giuliani oversaw efforts to put forward a slate of 16 illegitimate electors in Michigan. Mega Republican candidate for Michigan Secretary of State, Christina Carmano, has frequently alleged election fraud. Yet Fox Television in particular is not airing the hearings. Other Republicans are downplaying the hearings or ignoring them entirely. The Republican running for the office of election gatekeeper, Christina Caramo, a Trump ally, running for secretary of state, who sent an email through an aide that she was too busy to contribute her voice to this story. Matt DiPerno, running for attorney general, also declined a request for an interview. Numerous audits and reviews have supported the integrity of the entire process in Michigan, even as Americans turned out in record numbers to let their voices be heard in the 2020 election. This moment is the equivalent of a five alarm fire. That means we need all hands on deck. You know, and it's also really important for our audience to know and understand that I also reached out to the Michigan GOP office by phone, text and email, did not hear anything back from them. We are trying to find Trump pro-Trump, I should say, Republicans, to talk to us about this issue. They didn't for this story, Karen. Well, we sure do appreciate you trying, Paula. Thank you. NBC will be covering the first public hearing tomorrow night. Starting at 8, is scheduled to last for two hours. Then you should be able to see an episode of Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, followed by Local 4 News at 11.